Hello, in this video I want to show you how to use all gestures and motions on Motorola Edge 40. And to do this we'll need to open our settings, right here we have gestures. And the first thing is a sidebar, if you enable it you'll get the, this pop-up right here on the... In this case I have it on the, this side of the screen, you probably won't be able to see it because of the... Uh, glass protection, but uh, if you pop it open, there's some icons and you can quickly open any app. You can also customize it with the gear icon to add or remove different icons. Moving on, we have a system navigation. Here you can choose how to navigate your phone. There's gesture navigation, which allow to navigate uh, using gestures, as it says, so we can uh, open or, or go back using gesture like this. It's a bit complicated, you can try both of the features if you like. So three buttons, you can see three buttons on the bottom. Go back, uh, go to home screen and open all of the apps that are running. Uh, and yep, yeah, let's move on. We have one-handed mod and if we, we enable it or we can't enable it for some unknown reason. Okay, whatever, let's uh, go for the options. So uh, we have one-handed mode shortcut, and uh, if you click on it, then your phone will go a bit down so you can access notification panel using one hand. Let's disable this for now and move on. Here we have put display to sleep. If you enable it and uh, double tap in an empty space, it should turn off the screen. Now probably next feature works uh, the same way but in a reverse, so on your lock screen. Jump to lock screen and uh, enable it. Choose an option control how your sleeping phone responds. Double tap, jumps to lock screen or moving the phone turns uh, pick display on. So right here if you choose the first option which is double tap jumps to lock screen. When you're at the lock screen and double tap it should uh, wake up your phone and if you choose the pick then if you pick it up then it should wake your phone without pressing any buttons wake display and here use gestures gestures to wake uh, your display up tapping the display or moving the phone so there's the same features uh, like before for some reason uh, but yeah, it works kind of the same way, so we can double tap or pick up our phone to wake it up instantly. Um, let's move on. Three finger screenshot, if you enable it, then you can use your fingers like this. Slide that down from top of the screen to make a screenshot. Or actually, sorry, for most of the phones it works like this, but here you need to hold your three fingers onto the screen to make that screenshot. And next is swipe to split. So if you perform something like this, it should split your screen in half so you can have two different apps open. Let's try it on home screen. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, the gestures are broken on this phone. So, again, let's try to enable it and try it out right here because otherwise it won't work, I guess. Now it works. And as you can see, we have two different screens. Nice. Next is a double press power key to open the camera. It works fine. Press and hold power button to access a digital assistant. So that works for a Google Assistant in this case. And here, if we enter it, we cannot just press and hold duration for it. Let's try it out. It works fine. And next thing is media controls. You can use uh, volume buttons to adjust uh, 
to control your for example YouTube music or Spotify so if you enable it you can uh, hold the volume down button to play previous track hold uh, up uh, volume up button to play next track and if you want to adjust the volume then click on them like this because if you hold them they will just change tracks next one is quick uh, launch and here you can double tap back trigger of your phone so I will tap right here to select the settings and open one of these functions in this case it will open audio recorder okay, it works fine quick capture so if you twist your wrist like this with your phone it will open your camera fast flashlight and here if you perform something like a handshake with your phone it should enable the camera uh, I mean flashlight yep it works fine uh, lift to unlock and uh, unlock your device by picking it up and looking at the screen so that's a face unlock and if you enable it you'll be able to unlock your phone using your face and uh, front camera pick up to silence and if you receive any calls and you pick up your phone it should silent them instantly and flip for D&D if you enable this option and put your phone face uh, a screen to facing the table it will uh, mute all incoming calls and enter do not disturb mode and that's basically all of the gestures and motions on this device and that's it for this video hope you like it please consider subscribing to our channel leave a like and a comment below